We're going to take a look at absolute value here in this little video. And this is a new concept that we're going to learn, absolute value. So I've got a little number line here. And let's take a look at the number 4 on the number line and the number negative 4 on the number line. They're obviously two different numbers, 4 and minus 4. If I drew an arrow to 4 and I asked you what is the distance that 4 is away from 0, you would say the distance is 4. If I drew another arrow from 0 down to minus 4, so this arrow would represent um, negative 4, but if I asked you how far away is negative 4 from 0, you would have to say 4 as well. And absolute value is exactly that. Absolute value is measuring the distance a number is away from 0. And it's, it's always given by this little, they're, they're not brackets, they're two vertical lines. And this means what is the absolute value of 7? Or in other words, how far is 7 away from 0? Well, you imagine on your number line, 7 would be right here. How far is 7 away from 0? Well, 7. So the distance that 7 is away from 0 is 7. If I gave you one like this, this is saying what is the distance that negative 3 is away from 0? Well, the distance that negative 3 is away from 0 is simply 3, or positive 3. So the absolute value, then, we can define it as the distance from the number to 0 on a number line. So the absolute value of 4 was 4 because it's 4 units from 0. And the absolute value of negative 4 is also 4 because the distance from here to 0 is 4. Then the absolute value of a positive number is always going to be the positive number. So like we saw here, the absolute value of 7 is 7 the absolute value of 9 is 9, because that's 9 units away from, from 0. And the absolute value of 25 would be 25. 25 is 25 units away from 0. The absolute value of a negative number, though, is always, is always the same number, but made positive. So the absolute value of negative 3, we saw, was 3, because it's 3 units away from 0. And the absolute value of negative 9, would be positive 9, because negative 9 is 9 places away from 0. And the absolute value of negative 25 would be positive 25. So really, in other words, the absolute value makes the number positive if it wasn't positive already. So here it was positive, stays positive. Here it was negative, we make it positive. We'll just look at a couple of examples. So in this first example, we have the absolute value of 4 plus the absolute value of negative 3. Well, the absolute value of 4 is 4 plus, and we know the absolute value of negative 3. Make that positive. So that's 3. And 4 plus 3 would be, would be 7. And the second example here, so it is, it is order of operation, so we would need to do the absolute value work. They're treated like brackets. Um, absolute values. So we need to do the work within the absolute value here first. So 6 minus 10 is negative 4. So 6 minus 10, negative 4. And now we have to take the absolute value of negative 4. Well, that'll make it positive 4. So we have 2 times the absolute value of negative 4, which is 2 times positive 4. And now bed mass, order of operations, says we would do the multiplying here first. So that's 8, and finally 3 minus 8 is negative 5. In the third example here, we have absolute values around the whole thing. But within this absolute value, we have some work to do within another absolute value here. So this would be negative 5 minus the absolute value of 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So that's the absolute value of negative 5 minus 
of the absolute value of minus 1, doing this innermost work here, the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. So that's negative 5 minus 1. And negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. And finally, our last step would be to take the absolute value of this whole thing, which makes it positive 6. So that's an introduction to absolute value.